I would not get on here and, uh, you know, make these false allegations on your channel. I would not do that. But I for sure, I for sure bring you that when I get it. To prove it, so it ain't nothing to, ain't to talk about. And I believe it ain't even. But it ain't even that though. Like I said, man. Like regardless, like you you gotta be able. Uh, what it is, it's part of your healing. You let it out because let, let me let me let me say why I, I actually pressed the link to join in. You know what I'm saying? Kobe, that's my nigga. We've been knowing each other since middle school. You know what I'm saying? He know the real me after school in the streets, all that different stuff. So what I want to say is, you know what I'm saying? When you was basically talking about uh not knowing somebody's struggle or asking them what's their issues. I did all of that. I lowered everything. I quit fucking with my whole entire family to give him the, the support that he said he was looking for, the love that he said he was looking for. Mm. And like I said in the chat, he just, and I'm, I'm going to say it for what it is. You know, I pray don't nothing happen to him either. But at this point in time where I met with it, like I said, he really ought to be glad he's still above ground because the shit he did to my daughter, my only mission in life once I had my baby was to make sure she was safe and taken care of. And anybody that know me know that I've done that to wow. the T by my motherfucking self. So it's shit I didn't deal with her that people with two parents in the home can't say they did for theirs. Yeah. On some real yeah. nigga yeah. shit. He didn't put his yeah. fucking yeah. hands on my baby and all this different shit. Nigga, no, that nigga, he could have been. He, he really been, don't know he, what's going on. I know you don't. Home, and this ain't, this ain't towards you, but this is me speaking my piece. You know, so all those times, it should have been looked at. Well, why is she letting him back? Because I'm trying. I'm trying to, to show you, but at the same time, you, you fed got up. to wear the peace and the the, yeah. the serenity in this bitch is fucked up. Yeah. You got my attitude. I'm not I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? You got me into it with motherfuckers. I don't I, yeah. I can go to anybody and speak to anybody I grew up with or seen or know, you yeah. know, without having no problems. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But exactly. my whole thing is having guns and shit put in your mouth and up to your head for three years, him shooting guns at your family members and, and really getting you alienated from your whole family that's why that last time was the last time and it was the last straw you're not gonna keep lying on me though he's not gonna keep yeah, lying nah, on me see, saying what i didn't what I do that, that's why i'm saying i don't i, I know don't, and i have I no I reason to lie because yeah, I, I don't want to speak on i don't want to speak on, on on what y'all got going on no no, no 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 and it, like i said it ain't even it ain't even directed to you, know, you it's like that's 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 why I started coming out with certain shit because it did start making other people come out and start saying certain stuff because it's like, okay, now everybody ain't lying. And I'm just getting tired of looking at like I'm bitter. Boy, I done been in a whole bunch of relationships with people. It ain't one nigga I done been with that say he won't never fuck with me again. You know what I'm saying? This here then just took the cake and then just made me realize what I will never go through again. You know what I'm saying? Because I really was there. All the stuff, oh, he needs help. Oh, he needs this. I was there. He wake up in cold sweats. I'm wiping his face. I used to clip his toenails, make sure his fingernails look good when he go on air, making sure his hair was coming. Y'all talking about why did I do his hair? Okay, this nigga wanted some motherfucking braids, nigga, and I do hair. And he, he, he didn't want to go through the ugly phase where, where that shit looking some kind of way. He like, you can grip it. I can grip it. Let's get it popping in. So that's what it was. I was always his number one cheerleader. 